welcome to just vibey vibes welcome to our one-off show today we're talking about buhari uh, the president of the federal republic of nigeria <laughs> okay i've been seeing this to be honest i was not even going to talk about this i was like i'm not doing a one-off show today i was just talking to um someone i'm like oh, is it Buhari going to nigeria is, uh, to uh, london is, is it the first president that has gone to london now when i was talking i'm like oh, maybe i should talk about this so that's why we're talking about it now okay my thing is this nigerian health care system is bad we all know that this has been ongoing there has been no president that has even done anything good regarding that all our presidents has gone abroad for treatment when your daughter was sick he went abroad for treatment Obasanjo went abroad for treatment. Every single president has gone abroad for treatment. So Buhari is doing what his fellow people have been doing. Our politicians go abroad for treatment. In fact, when they finish being like governor and all that, when they have been paid that pension that they should not be paid out, some of the states have been cancelling it, they have a, um, what do you call it, uh, an allowance for them and their family to be able to go abroad for medical treatment. So it is something that is happening that has been happening. Is, is it something that we need to change? Yes. But then what we need to do is we need to actually put something in place. Like the way Magufuli did in Tanzania, whereby no government official is traveling abroad. The ones, anything that needs to be done abroad, the ambassadors are already there. If we're already there, we'll handle it. We need to do that. We need to put that as then you will see people will not want to be all oh, them senators and all the stuff anymore because it's not going to look attractive to them. So we need to put things like that in place. No, but you're not traveling abroad. You stay, you go to your local government fields or whatever area you're supposed to do and do what you're supposed to do, the work you're supposed to do. Nobody traveling abroad for even medical treatment. Make sure that the Minister of Health should work with the government to see how they can help with a healthcare system. And also, it needs to start even from your local government level. So, things should be allocated to local government so that every local government at least have a good hospital around that at least can do some things. And then if more is needed, we need to work on our emergency system. We don't have ambulance. People die because there's no ambulance there. And also, the irony of it is that and doctors are striking in Nigeria and Buhari is in the UK getting medical treatment. And I read a story, a very sad one, whereby a woman died where she was trying to give birth. The baby was already coming out. But then there was no doctor to help her. She and the baby died. You see, that is really, really sad. So these are the things, like, one thing I feel like our politicians don't understand, and even their children and all them elite people don't understand, is this. Your blood, there are lots of blood in your hand. You might not have carried the knife that killed the person or the gun or whatever. But when you don't, when the healthcare system is rubbish, that the healthcare is killing people, you are killing people. When the roads is so bad that accidents are happening and people are dying, you are killing people. When all this is so, all these people dying of medical care and all that stuff, all of them from not only Buhari, from the from Buhari the top to the bottom, everybody that has uh, that is supposed to be helping with our healthcare, that's supposed to get our healthcare to the standard that it should be, all of them, your the blood of everybody that has died. Because of bad health care. It's in your hands. So don't be going to church and be like, my hands are clean. No, your hands are not clean. That, that's not the song anyway. But <laughs> that's not the real song. But yeah, my hands are clean. Your hands are not clean. Doesn't matter any time you wash your hand. If you like wash your hand one minute times, your hands are still not clean. It's very dirty and bloodied. So that is what I'm going to say. So the first thing I'm going to say, Buhari is not the first. And also, I saw uh, someone going to a butcher house. I saw this... Uh, I think I have a video of um they put like something I don't know if it's supposed to be juju or what. It looks so pretty. I'm like I've never seen this kind of it looks like one nice look good looking food or fruits or something. I'm like oh huh? is juju looking this good? We don't know the meaning, we don't know the interpretation. We don't know the interpretation. What can you say about this? How did it get there? This is brought here. When we are here, somebody brought it. We don't know the meaning. We don't know the interpretation. We don't know the interpretation. What can you say? It was funny to me. I'm sorry. I'm making a joke of it. And then the people that are like, you know, like, um, Barry must go. I do think that, yeah, he should leave. I do believe that 
we need to but it's not gonna start with him though he's already in power it's something that we need to work towards we need to actually listen to the people that are going to be uh that's going to come up next time and i've said it that they need to have a proper debate everybody every party everybody has to have a debate we need to figure out as a people what do we want and all the things that we want if they're not anybody that is not singing in our tune then we don't vote for them we need to be able to vote for who we want to vote and everybody needs to come and vote i know lots of people say oh your vote don't count your vote don't count we know that they really vote them votes just vote how about if all of us would have said this if all of us go out and vote and then everybody takes their vote very serious and very important the people that are working there would not want to rig it because they know that their future is in line. So who would really want to rig it? Yeah, some people will rig it, the people that it will favor them. But then we're going to have lots of people that would not want to rig it. So there's a high chance that the person that is the right person will be there even if these other wrong people try to rig it. That's all I'm going to say. So we need to work. So everybody needs to see how important it is. I don't care what, if you, if it favors you for you to be able to travel abroad for treatment, then vote for the person that wants to keep that. And then if it does not favor, you know, all these things, we need to figure out as a people, what do we really want? And then whatever you want personally, this is the time that you need to think, then you vote for that person. Let's do it that way. And then let's see how we go from there. That's all I'm going to say. So we need to really, really, really look at who are we making our officials. And we need to start making them see that we are their bosses and not them, not the other way around. Because they think they're our bosses. That's why they talk to us anyhow. That's how they that's why they just wake up for money and then they do whatever they want to do because they feel like they are bosses. So we need to show them who is boss. That's another thing that we need to do. Okay, on this end, Buari must go train. Then um there are some people here that are like saying Buari must go and then they're disturbing, not like not disturbing, they're protesting in front. I, I agree, protest, you can protest. But then there are some people that now went and like they're praying for Buari. I'm like, is he sick? He's not sick, or the man just went for a checkup. And then, uh, oh God, one of his aides or whatever have opened a big mouth and said that he's got, he's used to the doctors in London. He's seen us now that are not used to the doctors in London. That's why, you know, the doctor and patient's relationship. I'm like, huh? Rubbish. Really. You can have doctors and patient relationship in Nigeria. Most of the doctors here, most of them are Nigerians. There are lots of Nigerian doctors in the UK. If our system becomes better, if uh, um, the healthcare is good and the pay is good and all that stuff and everything is being done the right way, you see lots of people who go back home. And also people who back home will not want to come over because things will be good. So there are so many things we need, apart from the healthcare, electricity, good road, the basic things. I don't understand why we just, I don't even get it. How these people, they go abroad and then they enjoy what other people have done, how their road, like, there's no time you, you're you in London that there's there's no road that they're fixing. You go somewhere, they're fixing, the buses will be on the road, they're fixing, maybe just a small part. Could just be very little like this. They're fixing it. They make sure they fix it ahead of time so that it doesn't even become a problem. And our people, they come here, the politicians and all that, and then they see all these things, but then they just rather have their children here, enjoying the good road and the uh, constant electricity and all that, use our money to pay the bills and everything and then they go back to nigeria definitely they can have generator you know nothing is touching them they have all the securities and everything that they need so they don't care so these are all the things that we need to look into we need to make our life more our life more better you know what i mean the we need to make our living situation more better we need to have good roads we need to have traffic lights in place we need to, you know what I mean? We need to, our streets has to be safer. Police has to be paid more. They have to be trained better. They have to care about the citizens. Everything has to be about the citizens. The citizens should always be right, just like the customer is as much as possible. Not that the citizen can be right all the time. They might be wrong sometimes, but then we should be given the benefit of the doubt first, just like the customers always are. And then, you know, all those kind of things. So things need to be put in place. We have to have proper traffic light. There has to be you no know, dr drunk driving because people still drink drive drunk i know that when i was back home in uni i used to i used to go out and then people would drink and then they would drive and then you see they were going through the portal like that i don't even know how dangerous that was you know so there are so many things that is so normalized that it's not supposed to be normal someone being drunk and driving is quite normalized and it shouldn't be or that's what i know that it was normalized and it shouldn't be so there are so many things that we the people too are also at fault for I feel like it is all of us. It's not only one person, but the government have to start and then we're going to follow. That's all I'm going to say. So 
I hope this um this just don't tell you about my opinion on it. Uh yeah, he should go, but he's not gonna go nowhere. He's going to stay there and do what he needs to do. At the end of the day, he's not the first one, so we should not be making like he's the only one that has done it. Everybody has done it. So now, how can we stop this? This is not the time to be beating a dead horse. This is the time to look for solution. I believe in solution. I don't I don't believe in problems. So I solve problems when there is problem. What is the solution? That's what we should be looking at, not what is happening. He's not going anywhere. He's not leaving office. He's going to stay to 2023. So what are we going to do? From the next one, now we've, we've learned our lessons. This has been happening for the beginning. This is the beginning of our independence. It's not now. So now what can we do? That's it. So bye. I'll see you some other time. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.